This November, I decided to take part of Humember. It's been one of the goals for me to take part of a monthly art challenge this year. But because my finals were in October, I couldn't participate in October, which is a bummer. But school's out now, and between the end of October and January, I have so many months to spare, so why not? <laughs> So what is Huevember? Huevember is a challenge where every day a new hue is picked to be the main color of the drawing. So technically as many hues can be used as long as the hue of the day is the main focus. And that's what I did. I chose the theme to be animals. I mean, who doesn't love animals, right? <laughs> And I also challenged myself to use an entirely new medium of alcohol markers from a very cheap brand called Touch 5. I actually purchased these last year, early last year I think, to practice with but I've been too afraid and when I eventually did use them this month, three quarters of them were already dry. As these weren't refillable and they are inexpensive, I just used a syringe to inject some isopropanol alcohol into the dried ones which does lighten up the color but not by much. I did find it was somewhat difficult to get a change in saturation with these markers. I'm not sure if this is because of my inexperience or the paper that I use. Either way, going over areas after the markers have dried didn't really darken the color so I ended up using a range of neutral and gray tones to push the values. Sometimes it worked and blended well, other times the two colors separated really so please if you have any advice tell me because I will greatly appreciate it really <laughs> since I don't have all the colors from the original prompt list available I had to make my own list but this was very easy because I only have 40 markers to work with and that was basically all the preparation I had to do Alright, so this part is flipping through all 30 pieces that I did. I do have a shorter version of this video with just music without any of my rambling that I have linked in the info box. So day one is a red pander. I had some issues getting the markings right with which area to be darker than the wine red marker, but I do like this one a lot. Day two is a cardinal using cherry pink. My friend suggested this animal. I've never seen something so bright red before, so it was interesting to draw. My final drawing didn't turn out as nice as the sketch because of the big head. That's okay. <laughs> When I got to day 3 and 4, I had to mix up the markers because they were quite similar. Originally, deep red was meant to be the crab or lobster, but I redrew this so many times and was still not pleased with the final and decided to move on. So, I decided to draw day 4 the clownfish first and picked up the wrong marker, it seems. But it didn't matter because I do like this one a lot regardless of the colour. Um, but I did give up on the hermit crab, which is using coral red. This there's just too many legs to keep a towel on. <laughs> Day 5, pale pink reminded me of flamingos. I really like this one too. Day 6 is salmon pink and I can tell you this was definitely not salmon pink. Cats are one of the animals that I draw the most and they always end up looking like a mix between a cat and dog. That's so difficult. <laughs> the piggy for day 7, fruit pink. I wanted the piggy to have fun in a mud puddle while bringing back the splashes from the clownfish. It became another piece that I really like along with day 8 which is the orange tiger. <laughs> I did struggle on the markings on this one too but it worked out. Oh and this piece was the one where my pens had exploded. Fun. <laughs> Day 9 and 10 are uh, also ones where I prefer the skirt. The canary doesn't look as canary <laughs> in the final and the lion using pastel green, not green at all, um, just looks very off and derpy. <laughs> I've never drawn a giraffe before so this deep yellow color for day 11 is the perfect excuse to try it. I like it. I did draw the markings with a dark gray under the deep yellow but when I went over it, it disappeared. I'm really not sure what I'm doing wrong here. <sighs> Day 12 is cream, so I drew one of my favorite animals, the alpaca. I've drawn it so many times in the past that I didn't have to sketch it. It's so cute. <laughs> Finally, getting to my range of favorite colors. Day 13, bronze green. I doodle a turtle underwater with air flaps similar to Squirtle from Pokemon. 
grass screen is day 14 so I drew a frog. I feel like something is missing from this piece but I can't seem to put my finger to it. One of my favorite and maybe my only favorite pieces of Huvember is the snake which I drew for day 15 using yellow green. I had so much fun with this one. Day 16, deep green features a crocodile or alligator. I'm actually not sure what the difference between them is but look at his happy smelly face. <laughs> Day 17, mint green light. I drew a cheeky little sea lion. I swear it was day 18. I went to the elephant to have fun playing with water or mud. I sketched so many poses for this and the one that I chose I think was able to portray that fun with water. Prussian blue for the whale on day 19 was also inspired by animals playing water. Day 20 is another one that I liked a lot. I used the pastel blue for this owl sitting in their home hole thing in the tree. And as much as I draw canines, this wolf for day 21, phalo blue is slightly very, very off. Yeah, let's just move on from this <laughs> Day 22, Ultramarine the Bat. I went to the drawer as fluffy as I can. The octopus for day 23 used deep violet. I also found out that octopus have ears. The penguin using lavender for day 24 is what penguins do when they fly out from the sea for either water or back onto land. Day 25 features a blushing manatee in that vivid purple. She's being all shy from being mistaken as a mermaid. <laughs> As for purple grey, which is not purple or grey in my books, the blowfish takes day 26 with its sad expression of being isolated by other fish for being too ugly. Poor blobby. Warm grey number 5 reminded me of a farm animal so here's a baby donkey for day 27 learning how to walk and exploring spring. A big hard working buffalo was drawn for day 28 using natural oak. I'm not sure why but all my kitties such as the lynx for day 29 using brown grey look so derpy. <laughs> I really think it's the tongue or the oversized nose but I do like the pose. And lastly, day 30. I had to draw my goodest boy Sunny, or at least inspired by Sunny, using sand. This is where my only Copic BB23 was starting to dry out, so the background became very uneven and splotchy. So that's the overview of my Huvember this year. I achieved a art resolution slash goal. Yay! <laughs> With that, thank you for watching, and until next time, bye!